previously on Corpse Party Book of Shadows. Then Moshuriga masturbated to a bunch of dead people and they were like, whoa, that's kind of weird. And he's like, I don't care. And now back to the crying. Hello! This is Nico B. Back with some more Book of Shadows. When we last left off, we saw Kazami eat a tooth and go crazy, just like we thought he would. But it was it was sort of a twist. I, you know, I I thought it was Emi had lied to... I don't know, I got fucking confused last episode. I thought Emi had lied to uh, Toko about Kazami. I thought she had done it. Um, I feel like that actually kind of would have been... Kind of an inch, that would have been even more interesting. But, uh, but it's still... It sort of showed that Kazami wasn't like totally batshit crazy, you know. Um, I mean, I mean, he was crazy as a child, um, and he definitely. I mean, I, I mean, he was definitely still twisted inside, but I don't know. It seemed like maybe he was. I mean, it, it, it definitely showed him in a better light, I guess, you know. But don't get me wrong, he's still fucking crazy as hell. Anyway, so now I've finally reached the freaking thing that I actually. I'm actually looking forward to this. Blood Drive. This is actually like the official sequel chapter to the game. Because everything else is just us fucking around. <laughs> Pretty much. It's like, what if this shit happened? What if this happened? What if Psycho got de decapitated? What if Yuka pissed her pants and stuffed it down a hole? Actually, that probably happened anyway. Anyway, back in the real... I don't know, the real story... Uh, so I, god dang it, it's better to end with like, and then the whole town explodes and everybody dies. <sighs> and you know what my kid told me? He said that Instant was connected with an underground website that's gotten real popular at his school. <gasps> oh, I think I heard about that in the news a while back. But if I was being used for bullying, and if I guess, is that kind of stuff still going on? <sighs> Just like, fuck that shit. Well, the news has stopped covering it, but it's still happening from what I hear. Oh, I wonder if my kids go on any websites like that. Maybe I should talk to him about it. Uh, wanna, wanna beat those old bitches up? It was late afternoon, right around the time when students were returning from school, and here I was again. Standing right in front of the intercom at the door to Psychos. The person that never existed. So yeah, this is gonna take place after I guess everything's good. So everybody's everything's good except for Sacco's dead. Mushrike's dead, but who gives a shit? Uh, Zombie's dead, I guess. Um, who else from their their group? Was it only those two? No, Mayu. Mayu, that's right. <laughs> Mayu, the one who exploded on the wall. I've been here for over an hour, staying, staring, wondering whether to push that button. <laughs> Must have looked really suspicious, especially since I had been here yesterday and the day before, too. And each time I wound up just going home. But today would be different. That's what I told myself. Today I would actually push the intercom button. I was ready to face my demons. Okay. She knows that nobody actually realizes like she even exists anymore, right? And that like the Psycho sibling. <laughs> <laughs> One little brother of hers actually was like, Oh, uh, yay. <laughs> yay, thank God I don't have an older sister to molest me all the time. <sighs> I can't remember, is you a girl? You's a girl, I think, right? Hey, you, you two can't just run off. Oh, no, it's the mom. You two can't just run off like that. That was you, Psycho. Damn it! <laughs> Psycho's younger brother. <laughs> all right. Alright, Lana, make sure you got your shoes on tight. There we go. Hey, straight that hat. God dang it. I don't know Japanese names and what gender they are. Very good. Now I think we're ready. Take my hands, please. Now you think you two can behave in market, okay, Aya? Uh huh. You bet. Now I'm just fucking with you. Hey, watch that language, you little shit. Sorry. Sorry, ma. It's what? So I like to hear. I know he's. A, I know it's a dude. I, I don't know. I'm sticking with a slightly feminist dude. I made sure I hid out of sight while they were leaving the house. You and those two other kids were definitely Psycho's younger siblings. 
Any reason I come, they were the ones I wanted to see. I had no idea what I wanted to say to them, but I knew for sure that Psycho existed, so I had to say something. Oh no! Oh my god, a picture of Psycho on my phone! You know, you think it would have erased the entire body, but nope, we just erased the face! But we can still see the hair and everything else. Be like, it's like, oh, actually, no, I do remember that child, never mind. Yeah, show them the cell phone picture and tell them, hey, this is your sister, and ask if they remembered anything about her. Why is your face missing? <laughs> I don't know, because this is a horror game. This shit happens all the time. It's like that one movie I can't remember the name of. It would be okay, I just need to explain myself. They understand? They'd had to, of course. It wouldn't look like a total psycho at all. I made up my mind, now was a perfect chance. I step over my hiding place and spring on them like a fucking tiger on a fat kid. Hey! Barely made a single word before I felt someone grab my arm from behind, holding me back. Probably Satoshi being like, what the fuck you doing, bitch? Uh, who's there? How about you, me? Don't do this, don't do it! Oh good, the two people that have the exact same voices had to freaking meet it. Class rep, I understand where you're coming from, but you can't do this. I can't tell who's talking. Am I talking or are you talking? I don't know. Who's, who's talking now? I don't know. <laughs> Class Rep Shinozaki was shaking her head at me. She was determined to stop me from confronting Psycho's family. My vision was starting to blur as the drugs kicked in. Did you do Vulcan death grip you? You're like... <sighs> just passes it. What do you plan to say to them? You know how it's going to turn out. <laughs> but... But... <laughs> I couldn't hold back my tears any longer. I squatted on the ground and looked up at the class rep who was staring back at me with equally glassy eyes. There were only a handful of people in the world who could truly understand what I was going through. Only those of us who returned from Heavenly Host Elementary alive. Only Shinozaki, Satoshi, Kishinuma, and Yuka. And for those who lost their lives, yep, that's- Oh! Right, Miss Yue, I forgot about her. Psycho Suzumoto Mashiri- <laughs> Just, just kidding. Sorry, and Miss Shishida. Kimonek find that their, find that their very existence was wiped clean from this entire world. Nakashima, hey. I was walking home defeated and dejected, with the class rep at my side. When she suddenly addressed me, it's like she wanted to tell me something. I've been doing research these last couple of weeks at the library, looking up information about the Shinozaki estate. That's the house where Yoshi and Shaki, Sashiko Shinozaki lived. At the place that the beings in the control, that the beings in control of Heavenly Host, what's called home. She's like, I don't give a shit. You might recall the newspaper articles we found that the ki about the kidnapping and murder, as it gave precious little information about Sachiko. And aside from local p papers, nobody even bothered covering the news about Yoshi's death at all. Digging up this information was no small feat. She was looking down at her feet and keep and kept steady, quiet tone the whole time she was talking. It seemed like this was all leading up to something. She was kind of an expert when it came to eggos and alcohol and such, so I trusted her. I wanted to know where she was going with this. Hurry up! <laughs> Get to the pot! It seems Yoshi Shinozaki's former home is here, in this prefecture. It's in the outskirts by the mountains. A home, like Yoshi's, as such goes. Yep, right in our backyard. It's that close. Yeah, Heavenly Hughes once stood where Kisaragi is now, after all. And since Yoshi Shinozaki worked there, Makes, her, makes sense her home wouldn't be terribly far away. I have mentioned it in her notes too, remember? That th that's where she salvaged the original Sachiko prophecy for the ritual. What, the piece of paper? Is it... So yeah, seems like a good place for us to find something, don't you think? Oh, dude, this is turning like Scooby-Doo. So this is what the game should have been like. Like, why did it have to be like, alternate reality, this other shit doesn't matter, but, you know, just for fuck's sake, you know? Like, I feel like the only thing we learned from that is maybe that Kazami wasn't quite as messed up. Um, and that's it, honestly. Like, everything else is just kind of like shit we already knew. Yes, we know Psycho's crazy horny for Naomi. We know... And I guess Nami would have been probably okay with him getting giggity. But then Emoshirige's a total nerd and also a crazy Psycho. And Ayumi loves to fucking pick on Yoshiki. And Yoshiki just takes it like a freaking boss. I don't know. You wonder the Shinozaki's family curse rests within those walls, and I believe there must be some clue there that could shed light on it. She had my full attention now. I sold horrors if I were taking it all in. Oh my god! It's like the second time I think we've ever seen her face towards the camera. 
I just thought that right half of her head just didn't even exist. Got an address too. If we take the train, we should be able to, we should be there in less than an hour. So what do you say, Nakashima? Let's check it out right now. Let's investigate. Let's split up, gang. The Shinozaki is the Shinozaki estate. I was haunted by memories of heavenly hosts, and this would entail visiting the source of it all, where the danger could be far greater. Is somehow. Lead on, class rep. Class, class rep. It was right around 4:30 in the afternoon. The day was sure was already cooling into night, and the sun would be surely would surely be setting after shortly after we arrived at our destination. How far? I wonder how long after this the uh, first game this takes place. This part. But neither of us really, <laughs> neither of us give a shit. I just wanted to be there as soon as humanly possible. If there were even the slightest chance of finding answers, I'd welcome it. The two of us went to the right to the station and hopped on the very next train we could find to the the countryside, grasping his trials for all we were worth. I began to wish I had gone back to change clothes before we left. If I had done that, I had to I'd have I've had to explain to Mom where I was going. I sincerely doubt she would have been amenable to the idea. To the idea. Hey, Mom, I'm gonna go investigate the. Uh... The original house of a crazy soccer demon child. Oh, okay, honey, have a good time. Okay, I'll see you later. You know if I survive. Oh, oh, honey, you're so silly. I could always, could have always just gone anyway, of course, but then be directly, then I'd be directly disobeying my mother, and I'd undoubtedly make her worry sick about me. Oh, get the Japanese music going. <laughs> the class rep and I were seated next to each other on a local commuter train I'd never read before. There were only two other passengers. Much like us, they were simply staring down at the ground, writing in silence, lost in their own thoughts. This last couple of weeks have been brutal. All five of us who had survived... Oh, there we go! Last couple of weeks. All five of us who had survived were feeling it. We were more exhausted than we'd ever been in our entire lives. Last. But no matter how crazy people said we were, no matter how much our souls ached for the memories, we could never forget Psycho and the others. I mean, seriously, who the hell could forget Psycho? I mean... I'm pretty sure everybody has, like, a sort of... <laughs> a scarred, emotionally. Even if they don't remember her. They're like, I don't know why, but I still feel like there was someone here. I used to just grab my boobs all the time. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like some other... This chick would just come over and just grab me right in the nuts. And throw me on the ground and just... Freaking... <laughs> rub her boobs over my face. Whatever happened to that person? I don't know. So every photo of them we have, though. Be it on film or digital, had his face blacked out completely. And the scariest sass I, I could imagine was the passage of time. Because eventually I knew I'd have trouble remembering what they looked like. <laughs> Listen, I want to rent something by you. We're the only ones who have remembered it, Miss Yui, Susan Shinohara, and Shuriken, right? Because if you died, Heavenly Host, it's as if you were never existed in the first place. You're erasing the collective memory of everyone in the world. And you also have to live in eternity in the same di way you died. That's all that, that's, that fucking sucks. Oh, she bring us up. Just look. No, I just looked down on my knees, trying, trying to successfully fight back the tears that were welling from my eyes yet again. Well, have a look at this. Of course, of course, a Japanese blog site. I can't read it. No, it's not see another, another word. It's just that spirit meeting girl's blog, right? Doesn't seem any. Doesn't anything seem hot about it to you? What is it? Still being updated? The Lux file entry was one detailing the Sanchko ever after ritual, but we already knew that. There are no updates after it because. Wait! Didn't Naho die? Right! I stripped Nan and looked into my eyes. Naho lost her life at Hel Heavenly House Elementary School, just like everyone else. But how can that be? I'm not sure the reason, but this is proof positive. Proof that not everyone who dies in the school got her gets erased from existence. Oh. Oh. Uh. It's kind of a. I think of that. I don't know. I mean, they. Maybe people are going online and be like, "Who the fuck is this bitch?" <laughs> now, homie. I checked. I checked her on her mentor, Mr. Kabiki, too. He also died in Leos, but just like Naho, there's still ample record of his existence. Uh. I was literally on the edge of my seat, leaning in close and hanging on every word. She flashed me a smile. And then her tits. She just, she's, let's not give him, give up hope, okay? Okay. I was crying hard now, but for the first time since we come back, I could see the tiniest, faintest glimmer of hope in the darkness. It wasn't much to go on, but it was easily the best news I'd heard in two weeks. It made me feel a lot better than this, in, about this impromptu trip. And even just this one big clue improved our chances of finding something that Shinozaki significant, stated significantly. At least now we knew what to look for. 
Oh, arriving at Kishi Kishi Station. Get the fuck off my train. Get the fuck off my train. Guess we're here, but we're really out in the boonies, aren't we? The air smells so mm, delicious. Hmm, it's nice, isn't it? And we're fortunate, Giggy, while wow, there's still some light left. We should find this the state before it gets dark. Of course, you, you had to go. Well, can you just wait till the fucking weekend? It's like, no, we gotta make sure we get there right when it starts getting dark. It's like, so when we get in there, it's gonna be totally pitch black. There'll be a whole bunch of demons just ready to murder us. God dang it. These people are so stupid. Yeah. So I'm sure about Satoshi, he's the only one who never died any kind of death in, this, in the last game. Uh, this this was the end of the line. A desolate farming community with nothing but farmhouses and fields as far as the eye could see. There's only one main road, and due to the mountainside setting of this picturesque village, it maintained a gradual upward slope the whole way. Not a lot of people around. Yeah, and I hear I was, and here I was kind of hoping I could meet with one of the locals and ask him some questions. Evidently, the Shinazaki family had a lot of clout here once, and were held in high esteem. Really? Since you're a Shinazaki too, I wonder if you have some distant ancestry in common with them or something. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Like, seriously, just now? Just fucking now that hits you? Oh! Ugh! Seriously? Like, we went through a whole freaking whole first game, and then a second game that had a whole bunch of bullshit, and it took to the last chapter of this, uh, and when it started to take itself seriously again, that they just said, oh, it could possibly be related to him. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I just don't, I don't know. It, maybe Shinizaki is like Smith in Japan, but come on. I just can't even believe nobody noticed that. I would have been the first one to say, like, hey, it's the same last name as you. I bet you're related. You're a demon, aren't you? And then, I, you know, knock her down. No! And Yoshiki's like, oh, thank God. Oh, man. I'm still getting tired of that bitch poking me around. Hell yeah! <laughs> Bros for hoes! <sighs> and then we do a chest bump and, I don't know, play 360. Hmm, I guess it's possible, but there are an awful lot of Shinazakis in Japan, you know? Okay, well, there you go. Mm, that's true. But you do have, like, the psychic gift, right? I mean... So are we going the right way? I think it's this way, yes. But to be honest, the address I found didn't have a house number, so I'm not entirely sure. Oh, but what about your cell phone? Doesn't it have that GPS thing? Whatever the doodly that is. Can we use that to figure out where, we are, where we're going? I already tried, but it looks like there's no map data on the file for this area. Which is actually very strange. If you say so. The road was paved the whole way, but it was full of cracks and holes resulting in countless, ma countless tiny pebbles and patches of sand crunching under our feet. And the darker it got, the more noticeable the sound of the uneven terrain became. There's something unsettling about the idea of two schoolgirls in uniform walking through a strange, largely desolate Largely deserted village at the cusp of twilight. Yeah, well, you guys are just fucking smart as hell, aren't you? It took you till now to figure that out, too. Good God. Hey, you really think we should stop and ask someone for directions? How will we pay that house a visit? <laughs> they looked up there, it's like, dun 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 dun, lightning strikes. <laughs> up this. Oh, you mean the one up that big windy mountain there? Sitting at, pre pre sitting at the pre precipice of a giant cliff where bats are flying out? And then I actually see Slenderman waving to me. Hey, welcome to my house. Well, first one's ever come here, actually. Uh, well, I gave you tea, but, uh, you know, I'm kind of like a zombie thing, so I don't really, I don't drink tea. I only drink the blood of my victims. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not really. Anyway, want to come inside? Mm, I don't know about that. She's pointing at one of the isolated farmhouses directly in front of us. No, no, that house. Oh, uh, okay. No, no, ah, oh, damn. Sounds good. It's getting dark after all. Let's pick up the pace. Nobody wants to come to my house. Excuse me? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Maybe they're not home. Let's try someplace else. Okay. Yeah, It's got the crap on me. What was that? Ah! Yeah, I don't like this. Let's get away from here. I know it's a little unsettling, but if we don't get some information, we'll never find the place. So come on, let's try asking that that one. This time she was pointing to a slightly more inviting looking residence nearby, sporting a blue roof. What the hell are you kids doing my property? Get out of here! Hello? Hello, is anyone home? I see something? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Ye yes! Yes! Um, yes? 
Good evening, miss. We're a bit lost. We'll be grateful if you could help us find our way. I see the figure of a middle-aged woman through the frosted glass door. I'm not sure if she was actually going to open it for us, given that we were strangers, and she was, by all appearances, a woman in an isolated house. Huh? What's all this, then? Ah, oh, good evening. I'm sorry to bother you so late. We've come all the way from Fujisara, and we're coming to find a certain residence. Oh my, what cute little visitors! I've been coming all this way with the sun going down, no less. Oh my, Jiminy Cricket Bagel Bagel Muffins! Thank goodness, thank goodness, she seemed like a perfectly normal, perfectly kind old woman. Oh god, that's what Tanzo and Gretel thought, right? Ha <laughs> ha. I took my place next to the classroom and bowed my head in respect. <laughs> I always loved the Japanese and... Well, ja it's ja Japanese and Chinese, but... Or, or maybe it's just Chinese, I don't know. They're, when they, like, bow their heads to you, when there's... I don't know, I always thought that was... I always thought that was badass. So where is it you're trying to go, then? I'm trying to reach this address, but I don't have a house number. This is all I know. Let's see, oh dear, where did my spectacles go, and my monocle, and my other things that make my eyes go boogity boogity? What business do you have at the Shinazaki Estate? Um, actually, we're investigating something, right? Oh yeah, that's right, it's uh, for a school assignment. We're doing a book report on uh, dead people. Mm -hmm. The old lady's demeanor changed in an instant. She made herself as large as she could and began pushing out a sass out of her house. Ooh. Ah! M miss, miss, something wrong. Get out! Go on and get out of here, you dirty whores! What? Fuck off! What was that all about? Seeing the words Shinazaki say seemed to send her off on the deep end. This could be a problem. Quick, to the mystery machine! The day was fading fast. The sky was still blue further now, but it was getting darker by the, by the minute. Street lights were popping all up all around us. Let's just try to find another house. There must be someone here and around here who will tell us what we need to know. Yeah, you think? Uh, uh, truck comes down. Uh, the end. Hmm? That lady is still standing there, right inside the door. Oh, well. Oh, God, you're right. Why is she still watching us? <laughs> those old little... Look at those little bitches. Oh, with their short skirts and their big boobs. Damn it all. I used to be like that. Why the hell would I still like that stupid freaking... Passage of time? Oh god, that's it! I'm gonna go get my shotgun. Oh, where did I put my shotgun? Huh. Okay, this is getting really creepy. God dang it, of course it has to be in the crazy part of town. She seemed like such a kind old woman, too, when she first answered the door, but now she just felt menacing. The sudden change was almost staggering. Holy shit, she's following us! <laughs> she's fast for an old lady. 6.30, huh? Yeah. We well, for quite a while after that. Fields and trees were becoming more plentiful, while houses were becoming a much rarer sight. The roads and climb had gotten a lot steeper, too. We were literally climbing a mountain now, and the likelihood of finding the house we saw for, or any house at all, seemed to be lessening with every step. Oh, a car coming! Watch out, Nakashima! Uh, 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 uh. Thanks. Stupid horse! Uh, uh. Mm -hmm. Push ourselves against the guardrail and wait for the car approaching from behind to pass by while we continue our trick. Hey, hey, what are a couple of schoolgirls doing in a place like this? This dangerous be walking the road, you know. The mini pickup pulled up, pulled alongside us, and the older gentleman stuck his head out the window. He seemed like a sociable sort, so we mentioned Shinazaki and then he went. Bah! Um, we're looking for the Shinazaki residence. Do you have any idea where that is? Shinzaki? Oh yeah! It's old Shinzaki stick. It's up oh, that away! Deep in the mountains. Next to the giant bear cave and Slender's house. Yep, I'm still here. Just up ahead. Yep! Mm. Ding! Well, that's good. We're going the right way after all. Yeah, but it's a ways in there. If you end if you this walking, it's gonna take you good long doodly boodly. I don't know what business you got in a place like that, but I uh, bam you want, I'll take you up. Chris Rift and I looked at one another in this square in the eyes. He seemed a little shady, but it's getting pretty late, and as, as they say, beggars can't be choosers. We couldn't get another opportunity like this. 
<laughs> I don't no, that's just That's not smart girls. That's not fucking smart. So we thank the old man and got in his old rundown truck. Which smelled like dead bodies and alcohol. And lust. Dude, oh dude! Check out that is that his eyebrows? Zigzagging straight up into the air. Dude, look at him, he looks like freaking looks like Zora or something. He doesn't look like a redneck at all, not anything about it. He like he actually is like the one person in this game looks Japanese. It trip's supposed to be a three seater, but it's kinda crowded. Sorry about that. That's quite alright, we're very grateful. It's kinda smells like ass in here though. Kept on walking, it would have been a nightmare before we knew it. Well, I sure ain't gonna let a lot of business is. She was she's like and stay in these mountains. Why are you two going to look up and doodly boodly? Well, I'm not really sure what you said, but let's just say there's some information we're trying to find. Information? But Nasu used to live there a long time ago. A woman named Yoshi Shinsaki. Yeah, back in the day, it used to be a home run clinic. But it did. Lots of people went up there all the time. There used to be crazy parties up in that place. Uh, what? But nobody goes there anymore. No, no, what kind of shape we'll be in. Oh? Uh -huh. Just kept driving further up the mountain path, and the higher we got, the rougher the ride became. Road maintenance was clearly not a priority here. With four tires on four on four different elevations at any given point, the whole truck was being rocked to its core. Ow! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just glad I'm wearing a seat my seatbelt. Safety first! This is quite the road, isn't it, mister? Huh? Ah! The old man's driving started to f started, was starting to frighten me. I could see Amy's head bouncing up and down, and I honestly felt like I, we were in a runaway vehicle. Um, mister, aren't you going a little fast? <coughs> ah! Ah! Huh? Ah! <coughs> ah! What the hell's going on? Come on, you like, get some... How are we beating a mile a minute? That was a person on the road, wasn't it? Glass River and I had both gone pale. We looked over at the old man. It's okay, whatever it was, I didn't hit it. It was probably Bambi or something, or Bambi's mom. What? Believe me, you hit a person or an animal on the road, it makes a bigger noise than that. <laughs> you know, I've hit like five people today, and it wasn't that bad. Uh... Anyway, welcome to Slender Woods. No, this isn't where we wanted to go. Ah, uh, come on. Come on, guys. Give me a break, please. Just, uh, never gonna get any face time in this game. This old man seemed to have gone a little weird now as well. Much like the old woman in town, he started off so kind and helpful. Bet Satch goes in there, twisting his freaking gears in his little noodle head. Who was that in the road? I don't know. And the line, can't go further by car, you have to hoof it up. Are you gonna, gonna go what? Me, or you want me to drive you back? You're like, uh, fuck no. <laughs> Alright, see you the bitches later. Thank you very much. I'll be waiting here for you, you just come back when you're done. Can't right leave little, little girls out here in themselves and hurry back to your car, little bird. Thank you for your consideration. Hopefully I won't be dead when you get back. What? Bless her, you okay? That was scary. What the hell is that? Is that a bird? That's a weird sounding bird. He's like, ah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> What's the Mickey Mouse bird? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Mickey. Oh. There's definitely something, str uh, definitely something strange about him, but he did say he'll wait for us, so I think he's a good person. He's a good person where it counts. Yeah, I guess you're right. The sun was setting rapidly, and evening was in full stride. On top of this uncompromi uncompromisingly steep road sat Yoshi Shinozaki's home and clinic. Oh look, it plowed us up ahead. Is that the place? We finally made it. Is this... There's nothing here. This had to be the place. The side of Shinozaki estate, but there was no house anymore. here anymore. The building was torn down. It was just an empty lot. After we came all this way. Fuck! Wait, hold up. Look over there. Is that a barn? Oh, yeah, that looks inviting. Alright. I wonder why this was spared. The state wasn't. Huh? There's this 
small bar on the edge of the property, and remarkably, when I flipped this light switch, the lights actually came on. Still electricity. Is this possible? It's ghost. It's all part of ghostly magic. Yes, it's kind of giving me the creeps. Despite our misgivings, we've got far outside our comfort zone to get here. We just set about searching this mysterious bar for any answers. And come on, you faced a lot worse shit than that. By this point, things even tried to kill you yet. Oh my god, I'm actually controlling. I didn't think that would ever. I didn't think that was gonna happen actually. It's a large drum that seems to have been once used for burning waste products. Nothing but sudden ash inside. Wonder what was burned in here. I don't know. It looks like plain old ash to me, but it could have been anything. Okay. It's a hemp bag filled to the brim with some kind of grain. Probably feed for farm animals. Or brains. I guess they had chickens here or something. Yeah. I wonder a blanket that someone seems to have left here. Somebody from outside must have sought shelter in here at some point. Oh yeah, maybe. I guess just getting out of the wind isn't always enough, and brr, it's starting to get quite cold in here when the sun with the sun down. Yeah. Okay. There's a mess of old cardboard boxes here, along with a rusted toolbox and a number of other odds and ends. It doesn't seem to be anything particularly useful or in or on or among any of them, however. Hey look, this box has Shinazaki one written on it. You're right! I guess that means it's really Yoshi Shinazaki's house at some point. We spent another half hour or so rifting through the barn from floor to ceiling, looking for anything we could possibly find that might help us. <sighs> so, I don't think I will see a single thing in here that sheds any light in on Yoshi or Sashigo Shinazaki at all. It's full on night outside, too. We've kept that poor old bed waiting out long enough. It's not like a waste to, to leave here empty handed, but we've done all we could. For today, at least, it was time to start heading home. Can't believe all that stuff is a barn. Yeah. He's gonna be gone. I bet he is. We should come back tomorrow a little earlier. I'll try talking to more of the locals. Sounds like a plan. It felt like the sun had been setting forever, but now it was nowhere in sight. The wooded mountains all around us were cloaked in a veil of darkness. There weren't any lights to guard our path either, so we couldn't see where we were going. Man, it's dark. Was this the way we came? Because you guys just weren't smart to bring fucking flashlights. Let me find our way back to the road. I think that's it, though, since I remember just walking straight toward the barn. Ah, oh, class rep, look! Most among the blanches is just beyond a small grove. The inside lights is the tiny truck shone like a bink in the night. It's the old man's truck! Yeah, it has to be. Thank goodness. I didn't much like the idea of getting stranded in the woods. Uh-oh. There's something oddly fulfilling about getting out and actually doing something. Success or no, it felt more, much more fruitful than moping about at home. I didn't care if it was a fool's errand. As long as I was kept looking day after day, I felt like I could move on. It wasn't hope, it was purpose. Psycho taught me that. Sorry to keep you waiting, huh? Hmm? Where's the old man? Maybe we're gone too long. I mean, it is cold, but maybe he had to, you know... I'm tired, digging a dump. She began scratching her head and blushing a bit. Completely embarrassed at the suggestion. Maybe he had to go, you know, wake some. Ew, what? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well, he left the engine running, so he should be back soon. Just, just wait for him. It's so chilly out here, though. My stomach's freezing. I'm sure, we might be waiting inside the truck, right? That's that's true. Okay, then. Class first, first, then. Huh? Oh, good. It's locked. Well, that sucks. It's not much of a choice to wait out here. Son of a bitch. It's so cold outside. What time is it anyway? It's 17. About the right time for the cold night air, really. No man's not coming back, is he? So what do we do? He's probably dead. It's so dark, couldn't, couldn't even see the road. And climbing all the way back down the mountain will require far more of a hike than we were prepared for. Oh, come on! Start walking anyway. Think of something else. And hopefully that wasn't the wrong thing to do. I noticed this, I noticed this when we were in the truck coming up here, but aren't there a lot of less spots along the road where the guardrails aren't? There were indeed. I could easily imagine being blissfully unaware that we were near the edge of a mountain, slipping and falling down, and dying a painful death. Oh, great. Since there are no lights, walking seems pretty dangerous, don't you think? You have a point. We should probably just keep waiting. If the old man is off doing his business, then he'll probably be back any minute. Maybe. Yeah, 
It is cold, but I say we wait. Oh boy. I don't like where this is going. Okay, well... <sighs> I, mean, I guess I'll save this for next time, guys. It's actually a longer chat. I thought I was going to finish this in an episode, but... It's a longer chat than I thought it would be. Anyway, like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe now and hop with the CLP. Where the days are always sunny, and the vids are always funny. Until next time, guys. Stay classy.